Hi guys, Kieran here. Uh, this is a tutorial for, an acoustic tutorial I should say, for the song Bulletproof Love by Pierce the Veil. Um, like I said, it's an acoustic arrangement and it's going to sound different than, re than the record, but um, I think it sounds good, so yeah. Um, with this song, it's got a capo on the 6th fret. Um, I know mine's on the 8th fret, but my guitar's tuned a whole step down. Uh, so it needs to be on the 8th, but yours will be on the 6th fret, and it will sound the same as this. So, this song, um, there's four strumming patterns all together, and I'm going to put those in the in the description. Um, and I'm just going to refer to them as strumming pattern 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, just, for the same, uh, just for the sake of time. Um, so, the verse, verse 1 for this song, Use a C, C major, then the second chord, take off your first finger, then the third chord is a F major, fourth chord is a G major, uh, and then play that progression twice, and then there's a little bit on the end of an F major, and a G major. So the strumming pattern for verse 1 is strumming pattern 1, which is just all down strokes, uh, with a few up strokes just here and there. Um, so I'll play through it, um, just to show you how it goes. I'll And then you get to a little interlude section, which is downstrokes again. Um, so you start on a C for 16, 16 uh, downstrokes. And then you have to this C add 9, in which you add your pinky finger onto the second string of the third fret. And you strum that for 8. And then go to that C uh, major 7 and the second chord of the verse, play that for eight as well. And you do this two times, so I'll play that little into this section for you now, just after the verse. We're behind the smoke, forever and alone. to verse 2 uh, and for this bit you use the strumming pattern 2 which you'll see in the description um, and it's the same chords as the verse so it's C, C major 7, F, G. This time you don't have the little F and G at the end um, it would just be two times that progression so I'll play that quickly for you now. And you've gone and sold me to this bed that says to you and me I'll never leave my lips again Until the burning rain I want to hold your hand so it's away I want to break my wrist And when the vultures sing tonight I want to join my hand And then you go into the chorus so the chorus is strumming pattern three, which is basically just down and up, down and up. Um, and you play eight times on this C, eight times on the C add nine, which is add pinky finger, and then 16 times on the C major seven, so you lift off your first finger, and you play that twice and then you go into a different strumming pattern 
which is strum in band two, which is the same as verse two. And you play an F to an E major, F, E major. And then for the last bit of the chorus, you go back to strum pattern three, which is down and up, like the first bit of the chorus. And that is F to G to C. So I'll just play the whole chorus for you now. Yeah, just so you can get a sense. I'll sing along. pattern 4, um, so check that in the description, um, but basically it's down up, down up, down up, down, stop, and then just before you go to the next chord you do a little down, down up, um, so that uses the C, the C major 7, F, G, just like verse 1, um, and then C, C major 7, F, but then this time you go to an E, instead of going back to the G. So it's virtually two times that chord progression. You're just changing that last G to an E major. And then there's a little bit at the end um, where it goes three times between an F and an E. F, E, F, E. And then it goes to an F and a G, raised against the chorus. Uh, but I'll play it now just so you can get a sense and then I'll go through it quickly again. This isn't fair Why'd you try to do this on me? My love for you was bulletproof The one who shot me God damn it I can barely see you now strumming pattern 4 and then the second time in the chord progression you don't go to the G you go to the E and that's where strumming pattern 2 starts when you get to that E and the strumming pattern 2 remains on the F to the E three times and it and also strumming pattern 2 is on the F to the G um, like I say all these chords have been in the description laid out um, with the strumming patterns just labelled next to it. Um, so after verse 3 you get to the chorus, the last chorus and it's the same as the previous one there's just a little um, F to G just added on um, so it goes just like the previous one it goes C, C add 9 to C major 7 does that twice and then it does F to E F to E, but instead of going F G C, it goes F G and then F G C. So it just adds an F G in there. Uh, and the strumming pattern for this is the same as the previous chorus as well. Strumming pattern three, with strumming pattern two um, in the middle. So the strumming pattern two is for the F E bit. But I'll play the last chorus now, and then I'll just break it down a little bit. I'll sing alone
So in that last chorus, he just adds the the lyric, and now there's nothing to do but tear my voice apart. And you just add an F and a G. Um, so other than the new F and G bit, it's exactly the same as the, the previous chorus. Uh, there is a little outro bit, um, which is just down and up uh, between a, a C, C major, to this C major 7, where you're just lifting your first finger off, and back to the C, back to C major 7, and then end on that, end on that C. So I'll just play the uh, outro now, just from the last bit of the chorus. Now there's no Finish it up, do it down and up, and then stop on that C. Um, like I say, all the strum patterns, all the the list of the chords, will be in the description just in case you missed anything. Um, I'll try to go through this fairly quickly, keep it fairly short. Um, but like I say, everything will be in the description. So um, if you want to check out some more videos hit the subscribe button, I'll be doing some more tutorials in the future, um, some more Pierce the Veil, um, some, a day to remember, all time low, um, so yeah, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and peace out.